okay so basically so when you uh, run all the times with the, any of controllers or in a normal way for each request you get response right okay now reservation queues for each uh, request you have a response but i am but okay there is situation that credit card payment starting there are four navigations in the first page you provide amount in next page you click the legal terms agreement yes third page you say i am confirming fourth page finally you get a confirmation page saying thank you your credit card has been successfully paid so there are totally four pages four requests so now i am interested how much time the credit card payment is happening then when you run it says that going to that page you will have one request and clicking on agreement terms one request you will have and final confirmation before you submit one confirmation and thank you page totally four requests will be generated but from business point of view i am interested the time taken for credit card that means total four requests time i need okay those all are treated as one transaction okay so basically transaction in the sense one end to end operation of uh, flow in an application we say it as transaction this is one transaction or you are adding new account bank account to your uh, to your existing account so starting point where you say click on add new account button giving the details validating it confirming so all those are treated as one transaction not only in the bank terms transaction don't assume that bank transaction here anything the end to end operation flow we say as a transaction now just assume that so first we are reservation we are going to this land page and then we are selecting cruise okay just assume these two are different request but ultimately we say it as cruise reservation okay cruise reservation this will go on first reservation page and this is confirmation page assume now these two are nothing but one transaction for cruise reservation okay so even in the results we are interested to see the overall output of these two okay if your aim is to get the output now for example view results tray if you go for each reservation for each thing you get a, a response saying that uh, these many bytes sent this much time taken this is the all the information you have okay body size is 8 8055 but now i am interested in transaction result i don't want each request there are totally four pages for credit card okay i want entire credit card transaction uh, result output okay so basically you need to be understand if you are presenting to your supervisor okay the log out login transaction is fine but when you are making a credit card transaction is little bit low then you can dig inside and uh, understand what request making it low but ultimately from business point of view they will be asked you to define a set of transaction credit card payment one transaction bank account adding other transaction and uh, you know third party transfer uh, money to other account other transaction ultimately for each transaction there might be multiple requests inside okay but from a business point of view they are interested what is the outcome of this transaction for a user to complete credit card payment how much seconds does our application is taking okay then you cannot say these there are four requests for here one is a legal agreement and that is you can adding these four and saying so these four requests right for this uh, this have 8480 bytes and these have these four will you add and tell him no you have to give a proper straightforward result so if that is the case if you define this as a transaction controller uh, insert parent logic controller and you have transaction controller right and when you click on it it says generate parent sample okay click on it because this is parent i want information as a parent so sum up all these okay run time oh, it's okay so basically all this will be in this transaction let me delete this or oh, Mm, I don't know why it blocked one transaction. Okay, we can delete. Oh, both will get deleted. I'll add on the top. Mm, 
some hierarchy problem okay now we can delete it right so till now we got mercury cruise reservation different request right now run it for one uh, delete all and check it you see that it's returning as a single and straightforward it says transaction controller and you see the result here this is the result of your transaction number of samples in transaction 3 number of failing samples 0 see it's giving you the information about all the requests present inside it if you go to the login page does it give you any information there are multiple requests inside it but it does not speak about how many requests inside it true inside it false but if you select transaction controller it says there are totally three inside it and there is nothing failing load time it's complete load time of these three requests and body size in the bytes okay so you don't get any request in response because we are basically summing up all these three and giving a single straightforward output result okay so this is how if you say this is a credit card transfer and uh, inside it you you might have some 25 to 30 requests to just make a one credit card payment Define a transaction controller and ultimately see your result here, sample result. Okay. So, and also you have one uh, listener as well, especially for transaction. If you add that add on, okay, we have add some plugins, right, in our uh, thread group lecture. If you add those, you will have uh, an add on called transaction per second. Okay. So, if you run it again uh, hopefully you can see that okay so number of transactions is it done let the result okay it's done okay you can see that uh, setting chart okay we are interested in mercury transaction and this is our transaction so all these are single pages of the pink one so it has taken totally uh, 2.5 seconds for us to complete this transaction okay total credit card payment is taking 2.5 seconds we can come to a conclusion by seeing this fine so that also you have here and or in view result tree you can see uh, here that's it so this is where uh, we see about a transaction controller setting up all the requests and giving a common report for all the requests inside it okay so that's it about this and yeah with this we can wind up this controllers you can use it whenever you need but basically when you, they ask you to put load go for a uh, runtime controller and if they ask to put your load for some thousand seconds give it thousand and just relax it will log in once log out once but the request which are present in runtime controller will run for thousand seconds okay so that's how you can deal with that so that's about controllers and we'll talk the new topic in our next lecture thank you